Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, episode 45, where we are at cycle 300, and we are going to get this oxygen generation taken care of, get that high pressure pocket out of there with one extra pump, which we have all the wiring for. We're getting this area cleared for where we're going to do a hydrogen bubbler. And we're also making progress, which, by the way, we're probably going to reclaim all this because judging by the constant cooling temperature of how the water is just getting colder and colder the more it sits here, I don't think there's going to be any need whatsoever to pipe cold air down into these gas valves. And I'm, I'm just... I can't believe how effective that is considering the water here... Oh, the water here is cooling down as well. Oh, it's from that ice. So what, the water in the pipe is... 26 degrees? Well, it's not moving, so... It'll, it'll, yeah, once it moves, it'll update its temperature. So we need that pump to stay charged. Uh-oh, uh-oh, circuit's overloaded. 1.2 kilowatts. Because these haven't been... These haven't been deconstructed. Um... Okay, okay, well what we can do... So we can deconstruct that. And then we can also deconstruct that real quick. But it shouldn't... Why is it showing... Yeah, we've got wires that are breaking. Hmm... Okay, let's let's look at it closely here. We've got two two wheels and on this circuit Now how is it because this was tied into those So now it's all one giant circuit. Yeah, that needs to be destroyed like right away. Quickly, quickly. This is a priority nine. Thank you. Oh, right. Oof. And the circuit is saved. Okay, good. Now we just need to wait for them to... Wait. What did they destroy there? They didn't deconstruct the gas permeable tile. Hmm. I want this tile removed. Okay, and thank you. Alright. And we also need to make sure our hatch has food, which I don't think he does at this point. So we'll kick out those minerals. And then what do we got? Minerals here. We'll kick these minerals out. As long as there's no abyssalite, then we'll kick those minerals out. There you go. That'll get us some coal. Okay, good. Now that this system is taken care of, we can... Oh, of course nobody can get in there because this door is set to, ah, uh, to, set to lock. One, two, three, four... Because they probably could have reached all of that. Well, it is what it is now. We've done it. That's fine. Okay, so this pipe... This pipe is the one that's going there. And this pipe is going to... I guess we'll... 
We'll jump it over and we'll marry it into this top pipe, which is always got a high demand. We'll see how this goes. Um, we can always change the pipe later if we need to. No, because it needs to be filtered. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hmm. So we're going to need an entirely another uh, filter system? No, that's, that's just going to be madness. We can go ahead and wire it up now, though. It doesn't have a, a spot to run, but we can go ahead and complete this circuit. And now let's go ahead and get this gas permeable tile back here. Hmm. That constant opening of the door, though, is going to let that polluted oxygen in. Not really what we want. Let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Oh! Mr. Anti-Knowledge! Oh, I'm so sorry. We have so many circuits that have been melted that need repairs at this point. Yeah, all of these pumps have shut off. This is quickly becoming a fiasco. No, that needs to go up one. I'm a fool. Okay. Connect that wire there like that. There you go, Pimp and Reaper, thank you. Once we get that wire taken care of, we can figure out... Uh, we need to get these pumps back in working order. So we need to get these wires repaired. So please feel free to prioritize that. That's an interesting development. And then, of course, we're getting all of this melting going on. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is going to get really interesting. It's all that hot air. Yeah. Uh, we need this to be repaired, though. Let's start looking around for areas that can be repaired with a high priority. Where else needs to be repaired? There does. So many places on that line got melted. There needs to be repaired. Anywhere down here near the batteries? No. Not at all, thankfully. Okay, um... Well, hopefully they get to repairing these wires soon. Oh, and then we got a wire here got got messed up. Repair pending. And then we got all this water falling down. Look at that. The temperature here is already cooling off. Oof, the water is getting cold. 13 degrees. That's that's really good. That's really good. This whole cistern is going to cool off now. That's just it's tremendous. Uh, but we're going to have serious oxygen troubles really quick if we don't get the, these pumps back online. And nobody's repairing the wires. Let's make sure we did not... Oh, we do need to activate everybody's repair and deliver. How did the repair get turned off again? I must have double-clicked it when I toggled it. It's not good. Let's get all the repairs done, please. There we go. Okay. Empty pipe? What? Okay, it's back on again. I was like, wait a second. Yeah, so that circuit's going to have a much higher priority now. In fact, we're going to go ahead and set up 
more batteries for it. Because it needs to last a while when it's on. And then we'll go ahead and we'll set some batteries down here. Um, as well, for now. Just as sort of a stopgap, we need that, that system to have plenty of excess energy. There we go. And we need to keep the temperature nice and warm in here so the puff, because the puff needs to stay nice and warm. It prefers that swampy environment. Mm, we're trying to make some, some magic happen here, but we quickly, we overpressurized again. And we're hitting max gas pressure because this most critical pump here is not working. Now, let's look at the magic here. Let's see what's going on. There's really nowhere we can funnel this air over here. It's going to have to be... It's going to have to be its own filter. Hmm. Let's, let's consider this, because it's going to need its own gas filter. Which requires 120 watts. There's really not a good place to put it. Ooh, we could put it in here. But these circuits are tapped out. 1.8? No, I mean, we could put it there. We could tap it onto the... Okay, all right. Let's do it then. Where does the... Uh, yeah, right in the middle. Okay. So we'll put this here, right? And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to pipe from this one down. Oop, it's backwards. It's backwards. Let's try that again. All right, so then what we'll do is we'll pipe the air in here. There is no... Yes, yes there is, okay. Whoo, it's such a mess. It is such a mess. All right, we'll let people do their job. So the hydrogen is gonna get filtered out and go this way. And, um, let's see, I could destroy the other ladder as well, but we'll leave it for now. No, 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 we're gonna need... We're gonna need this ladder destroyed as well. Oof. Goodness. It's getting squirrely. It's getting really squirrely. And then we're going to need one there. Okay, back to the granite. Like that. And then we'll feed the hydrogen right into there. Okay, now we just have to find a place to feed the oxygen, which is going to come around this way. Up here. And another gas pipe. Mm-hmm. That's going to cause pressure confusion, though, isn't it? Okay. All right, all right. No, it, there's always a way to fix it. There is. So we'll come up here. And down there like that. So these ladders are not important. We can get rid of them. They're just causing us causing us heartache. We get our gas pipe bridge here. Nope, I had it right. Like that. And then wait, no, no. Oh, they built too soon. Get rid of that. All right, granite, yep. It's going to go like this, and then we're going to need a gas valve. 
because we need one-way airflow, right? Oh. It looks a little crazy. But in the end, I think this is going to work. Oh, I think it's... No! What am I doing? I am a fool! No, we need a dedicated airflow to the top. This is our chance to right the wrongs of previous configurations. Yes! Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm sorry to keep doing this back and forth, but I, I just found a most beautiful, elegant way to make this even better than it was going to be. So what we're going to do... Yes! Are you guys prioritizing the deconstruction of these two items here? I don't believe you are. I would like you to, please. Another duplicate? Not at this time. No, no, no. We need to assess our daily oxygen generation. Please, just remove these! You're stalling progress! Oh, no filter selected. Um, how about hydrogen? Please deconstruct these. For some reason, I thought those were deconstruction symbols. They were not. All right, get rid of them. No! No! Oh, it's bedtime. Everybody's got to go to sleep. This is coming along nicely, though. This is going to be really nice. I like it. Once we get our excess oxygen that way... Oh, but the food... No, no good. Harvest. Fertilizer is growing. Algae is growing. So I think it's going to be time to open up this bottom before long and start collecting the CO2 down here. In a huge pit-like area. Hopefully that will get rid of some of this oh chlorine that's just all over everything. Hmm. Okay. Back to the issue at hand. How is the water here? 17 degrees. No, these are not running. Of course they're not running. Nobody's on the pumps. Alright, you got these destroyed. Excellent. So here's what I'm looking at. This pipe will continue this direction. This one will bridge like that. And then we'll continue this pipe. We'll make our troubles go away up here. Oh, oh, wait, wait. So it doesn't look too nice over here. It looks it looks a little a little industrial. But that's okay. Because now, we have a dedicated airline to these top two vents. And once that happens... Once that happens, we'll be able to revent the top of, up here. And get that all taken care of. Now, let's let everybody run on the hamster wheels for a bit after this is done. There will be no more Priority 9 jobs for a while, I promise. We need the power to run good and for a whole day so we can see what's going on. Are you not Priority 9? You need to be Priority 9. Cistern is filling up with nice, cool water. The water here is down to 13 degrees. Okay, alright, well... We'll deal with it for now. I don't know what all this is, why this tile is so warm here. But we're going to take care of that. Because what I'm going to do 
is we're going to make some abyssalite tiles just like that. I know I said no more priority nines, I'm sorry. I did not mean to deceive you. And we're going to do these will be mesh tiles here. No, 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 me mesh tiles. That way the water can just fall down. How are we doing for temperature now? Um, sure, it's looking better. Maybe we can sweep all this up, too, when we're done? Perhaps? That would be even better. Excellent. Sweep it up. And then, of course, we need to mop this up. How is there water to mop on top of that vented tile? That's peculiar. Now, I wonder, though, if this water is cooling off so fast because of the gas valves. Now, we're not pumping cool, cool air through them, but the gas valves are the same temperature as the water right now. And they are made of wolframite, so they might be helping to cool down this water just passively because they were so cold when the water started getting pumped in. Oh, and we're struggling to get that. All right, let's go ahead and let's reset the system. So we're gonna turn off the electrolyzers, but we're gonna allow the pumps to continue running until the air in here is close to vacuum status. There's water in here. Oh, that's no good, hold on. If we have water in here, that could be hurting the system as well. Let's clean up all the water in here. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, that's going to let some of that polluted oxygen in. That's that's fine. It's a thing that happens. All right, we'll kick the system back on. Now we have an extra pump. Okay. Let's see how we're doing over here with the batteries. Um, you can be turned off. I don't know why you're on. We just want one pump accepting hydrogen. Oh, I turned that on because the hydrogen line was backed up. That's right. That makes sense. So go ahead and cut that off. How are we doing for O2? No, we need all of the wheels running. Non-stop, please. All right, power is generating. Oxygen is... just breaking even, and we already have a high-pressure pocket up here at the top. Not pumping. Why are you not pumping? Huh? There's no air pumping. Oh, 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 because this is not built. We're not getting an accurate read of our pump system. Somebody please finish this. We'll get it finished eventually. Monumental undertaking as it was as it is, as it has become. There we go. Mm, we'll come back, we'll check the oxygen on a fresh day. Let's look at the temperatures. Oh <gasps> look at that. Oh no. We're getting air that's too warm in here. All right. It's time to open up the uh, open up the valves here. Oh, we're netting an oxygen gain. We are. Okay, we need to we need to vent out the system again. Goodness gracious, I can't believe how difficult it is to keep the electrolyzers running at peak performance. Like, it's incredibly difficult. It really is. And now we're pumping polluted oxygen through the base? What? Right into people's bedrooms. Huh. 
Oof, RJ's like, oh man, what's that smell? It's some nasty swamp gas, is what it is. Alright. Kick on the switch. Is everybody still working on this up here? Is this a thing that's being done? It looks like it is. We'll need to mop up some more. We're going to be mopping up a lot, I imagine. Uh, do we have a place to store the liquefiables yet? I don't know that we do. Oh, we do. We have some in here. Keeping it cool through the top. The water here is still pretty warm. But even though it's going into the pipe at 63 degrees, it's 12 degrees. This water's going to freeze. Um. All right. Let's um Let's get these Wolframite gas valves deconstructed. If they're contributing to the to the drop in temperature at all, we need them to go away. We're going to need the Wolframite anyways for the hydrogen bubbler, but goodness, this thing. Oh, wait, what? How is that even a thing? How bizarre. 12 degrees. This water is going to freeze. <laughs> this water is it's going to turn into a giant block of ice in here. Oh, man. Oh, man. I can't believe it. That's so funny. Okay, no, it's not really funny, but... Okay. Oh, man. All right, let's get some ladders. I just can't believe this water that's coming from the geyser, it's exiting the pipe at 51 degrees, is cooling off so incredibly fast. It's just got to be all these all these different weaswort seeds that we planted, making money, doing what they do. All right, choose a duplicate, reject all. Not even gonna look at them. 15 degree water. It's barely starting to cool off these tiles too. It'll get there. It'll get there. And it is cooling off the system in here to a degree. This pump is sitting in a vacuum most of the time. And we're still net loss on the oxygen generation. Oh my goodness. I'm just... I'm about at my wit's end with that oxygen generation. It was working so well before, and now? Now I just don't even know. I just have no clue what's going on. Every pump is putting out air just as fast as it can. Well, we could always add an electrolyzer here. We could. We could. We could add one more electrolyzer. I think we're still getting water faster than we're using it. It would ensure that this pump had more going on. We could put it right here. If you can't tell, we're doing this. <laughs> this is the thing. We just have to figure out what circuit to tie it to. 960 on that one. 960. 730. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
That just means we're going to have to rethink which circuit the CO2 scrubbers run on. No, no. There you go. Don't do that. Okay. All right, well... This will either fix all our problems, or it's just going to make them a lot worse. But, I mean, realistically, these pumps... So, let's let's verify exactly why we're doing this. So, the air coming into these pumps here, you've got 375 grams, 275, 375, 375. What about here? 250, 375. Now, this pump is doing 17 grams. 17 grams... 125 grams, 125, right. This pump is hardly getting any airflow to it at all because the electrolyzers are pushing the oxygen up. And they're already, we're already having trouble keeping the batteries running. All right, you guys are going to make me do this. You're going to make me prioritize the hamster wheels as a priority nine? For real? Is that a thing you're going to make me do? Don't make me do that. Please don't make me do that. I don't want to be that guy that makes exercise mandatory for the company. But I feel like I'm going to have to. I feel like that's, that's the way we're about to go. No! No! Don't destroy those tiles. All right, well, we can take a look down here and see what's going on down here while we let everybody do their job up top. Ooh. Magma. That's neutronium. Hmm. It's odd to see an ice biome down here by the magma. That's very odd. Okay, let's... Let's just ladder our way down. And then we'll just... We'll cut out everything in that direction. And we won't cut everything out in that direction. We will from there on. But I don't think the morbs are going to be happy down here just because... No, it's warm down there. We did lose a bunch of morbs, though. A bunch of morbs died. I'm guessing because it's... The water down here was cold, perhaps? Yeah, polluted water, 11 degrees. They froze to death a little bit. And then this is open so the chlorine can trickle its way down. And then these are going to be opened as well. So we can, we'll just get rid of the carbon dioxide that way, right? Out of sight, out of mind. We don't actually have to get rid of it. No, of course not. That would be silly. There's our oxygen surplus, and we don't even have all the tanks running. I'm pretty sure that means once these batteries get a charge in them, and people get on that exercise machine... We're going to have all the air and all the hydrogen we could ever hope for. Look at that dedicated airline already giving us positive pressure in the top room. Oh, and look at these. Enabled. Let's enable these buildings. That's what I think. Let's see what happens with that. They can help us a little bit with the carbon dioxide. We'll get people's rooms not covered with chlorine and... Oh, no! exercising in the chlorine that's so not healthy so not healthy at all mm. I'm sorry Foxheart I guess we don't need these little wire connectors there okay so we have the batteries running we have a charge We're getting this high positive pressure in here now. 
for sure. But we have high energy requirements now. We can go ahead and open up this gas valve. Never mind. No, we can't. No, we can't. Thank you, but no thank you. We, we're not ready for that yet. Instead, we need these... We need these wheels running. All right. This is it. Now we're doing it. Exercise just became a much higher priority in your daily life, everyone. Please remember to exercise at all times. Oh, wait. We're getting coal from our hatch. We could totally augment our power here. Yes, yes, we could. Absolutely we could. Okay, good. And these morbs will eat up all of that yucky carbon dioxide. Oh, it's going to produce a lot of heat, though. Well, if it gets too hot, then we'll just tear it down and put it somewhere else, right? We won't know until we try. No, 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 Foxheart. It's okay. One, two, three, four. It's okay. You just need those two. Just dig those two out. Cancel all this. Just dig those two out. Nathan's going to help you. Okay, there you go. Okay, I know. No. Okay, that's still that's still dinging on Fox Art. All right. These icy pits. These little cavernous frozen CO2 dungeons. Whoa. There's steam here. Look at all this magma. What's the what's the sturdiest thing we can make a liquid pump out of? Yeah, nothing that's gonna withstand that temperature. Oh, it would be so cool if we could pipe magma around and play with that. Goodness. All right. Well, that is gonna be where we wrap things up. Even though we're still not oxygen positive at this point it's because we have four pumps continuously not running which that problem is going to have to be solved with some auxiliary power once we get them running we might have enough hydrogen to run the second hydrogen pump non-stop but we won't know until we get the system primed no okay so we're not going to wrap it up yet then let's 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 get it going and see if we can do this. There's not going to be an easy way to put that. Oh, right up here. Yeah, you know what? We'll just do it the easy way. Why not? Why not indeed? And we'll put a little coal storage right next to it. Sure, why not? At least that'll help. That'll help everybody keep the system running. Okay. All right. Exercise is now a priority nine. Yeah, there. Are you happy now? Everything is priority nine. It's turning into such a mess. We're going to have to... Oh. That's unreachable. Yeah. So don't build platforms more than four above <laughs> where you're trying to do stuff. It's just a pain. It doesn't help anything at all. It just causes problems. It causes a lot of problems. And that's really all that it does. Hopefully this CO2 will still end up going down to the morbs. A new duplicate, to which I'm going to say, no, not at this time. 
So let's wrap up. We've got 15 degree water here, starting to cool off the cistern, cooling off the showers. It's maintaining this area at a 30 degree temperature, sort of. I wonder... If I made these, um, if I made these electrolyzers out of wolframite. Oh, man, that might help. We'll have to see how that works next time. But this has been Oxygen Not Included, episode 45. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time watching. Because as always, I've had a good time playing. Come back next time when we discuss the new corporate policy about why your daily exercise is mandatory. But until then, take care.